morning. I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Okay, today we're doing something we don't do too often. Arnie had put a bale in there and obviously it's not a good bale. So we got to remove it. You can see the dust coming off it. I don't know how he didn't notice that. But he's going to put in a new bale for them. We got heat coming in today, it's going up to 31 degrees, which for us here is way, way too hot. <laughs> the weather has, the temperatures up until now have been really nice. It's always a problem getting it just right. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Hopefully this one will be okay. We open this little gate back up for them. Arnie's just closing the gate into the big pasture because we got ewes back there. But the rams figured that out real quick. They left that bale of hay, which is not as good as we'd like. It's still old hay. We're trying to get the new hay all finished. Max, come on. Oh, Gladiator was smart. He found the willow tree. Not too excited about going out in the heat. Tommy's at it again, so I thought you might like to look at that. <laughs> he just took a swipe at Ben. He doesn't want anyone around his sheep. These are the rams that got the barber pole worm. So we've got them in the barn and we're feeding them specially right now and keeping an eye on them. That's why he doesn't look so fancy right now. But Tom thinks he's beautiful. is Big Betty. It's a hot day today. It's hard to get a picture there. She's laying down in the middle of the pen, hoping for a breeze to blow over her. Hi, Big Betty. You're a good girl. Yeah. Yeah. You're a good girl. She's one of the ones that gets to stay here forever. You're a good girl. She's such a nice lamp sheep, aren't ya? On hot days, they're not too motivated. Poor girl, you have a nap. I've got someone who doesn't want to be here in the car with me right now. And we're going to head over to see what Arnie's up to. Well, we're out at the next farm here. And right now, Arnie is trying to make dry hay which means not wrapping it. So we'll see how that turns out. This is the ditch that runs through the property. It's a drainage ditch. Problem now when you walk out in these fields, we got the heat and it's pretty well summer now. And with that comes the deer flies. They're a nasty biting bug that we have here in Canada. So the thing with dry hay is it has to be dry. Like when 
it's dry, there can't be even the slightest bit of moisture because when you pack it really tightly into a 700 pound bale, if there's any moisture in there, it is most definitely going to mold. And it is a really fine line in getting it dry enough. And if you go too dry, it loses like all its life totally and there's always the risk of rain coming in so you always want to get it done as quickly as possible but you're always afraid that maybe you did it a little too quickly Ben doesn't even have to be told like he you have to basically lift him up to get him in a car but to get him to go on top of a bale of hay Never a problem. You good, Ben? Is that Arnie? Do you like going to the hay fields without Max? Is it fun being special on a bale? Do you like to watch Arnie? Are you spoiled rotten? Are you? <laughs> You're a ding dong. You're a ding dong. He saw we were here. And now I hear a gunshot. Like what we shouldn't be hearing in the middle of the... He's on his bail and he doesn't want it. <laughs> How far in the green? Halfway. Ooh. So there we go. That's it. Still in the green. It looks like that's 17%. We don't want it to hit the yellow. Where's the next bill? I, I think you could let the tip from every day. Yeah, you always could. Well, I'm not, uh, I left half of that hay. I'm going to leave it there's more. And uh, that's why I didn't rake it outside here because it's kind of tough. So I'm just going to rake the crown and we're going to quit tonight. So we'll test it. Probe it in and we got, oh, that's 18% now. Someone was looking for a ram and we thought this guy was nice. He's from Jethro. And Come on, buddy. he was born in early February. We're thinking that he's pretty nice. So I was just getting some videotape of him to send on to the potential customer for him in Manitoba. And likewise, we were looking for a Dorset Ram Lamb to go on to BC. So we were thinking this guy was pretty nice. <laughs> he didn't like the dog though. Come on, move buddy. There we go. It's the middle of the day, and we're here for Linus's feeding. He's still a little guzzler. Are you done? Are you done? Do you, you want more, or you want to just take a breather? There you go. Yeah. 
And because we're making dry hay today, one thing that you can be sure that's happening when we're making dry hay is that the weather is hot. So I can tell just by the sheep's behavior today that they're finding it quite hot. Would you like some? Would you like some? Or does he have bad breath? You don't want that. You don't want to eat after Linus. But I bet you do. Because you're just a greedy thing. This is Lambert's sister. She doesn't get a bottle anymore. But if there's leftover, I'll give it to her. And she will never refuse it. Some sheep are really fussy about drinking from something that someone else has put their lips on. <laughs> but not this one. Okay, maybe, Lam maybe Linus would like some more now. There we go. You got it? Okay, no? What about you? Thelma, no? Linus? I think you're just playing. You've had enough. No, you're just playing. You can finish it off. You look like you're starving. So Lambert's sister, he's got two sisters in here, but this is the bigger of the two. She's just like Lambert, really big girl. You are silly. like a 120 pound ewe lamb like she doesn't need that but if you look around here everybody's kind of breathing kind of heavily because it's way hotter than they'd like I got a, even the sheared one well this is actually a lamb I thought it was one of the ewes but now it's a lamb that's that Dorset Ram Lamb that was from the Straggler group. He's really nice. But still no word on Jacob coming back. The reason we had started shearing like I think in March was that we wanted everybody sheared by May. And if all things had gone as we had planned it and as we had booked it, everybody would have been shorn by now. But we still have just a few in this barn, and then we have all the white lambs back there. So, yeah, very, very frustrating. Most of the adults are inside. They're all seeking shelter. I don't like the heat. You can see on the outside the dorset ewe lambs are out there. But they're all trying to find a spot at the side of the coverall in the shade. On hot days like today, I make sure I go through the barns, especially in the lamb pens. I don't know what the lambs do. I think they play and have games in the drinkers. But I, I want to make sure that their water isn't dirty. So I will go around and check all the drinkers uh, several times in the day just to make sure that everybody's able to drink This morning. It was just Terrible. How's your drinker now? Excuse me Well, I Definitely don't like it. So it's a good thing. I came to check. This is only a few hours later What a mess and in this drinker uh, this is where the market ram lambs, the pen they're in right now. And there's one little ram lamb in here who chooses cud. And when he chooses cud, like it all dribbles out his mouth. But what he's been doing is when he's chewing his cud and relaxing, he stands over the drinker. So all the cud and goop drops in there and then nobody can drink. So that's what I'm looking at basically here. We haven't picked our show rams yet, but it looks like they're going to be from Hilton and 
Quincy this year because they were from the January group and you want your lambs to be the biggest at the show <laughs> and with ours being shorter than the show sheep anyway we definitely need the older boys there being represented um, the lady in Manitoba is happy with the Jethro lamb. We put a J on his back for Jethro. Some of these have letter. While we were doing him, we did a few others. The H's are um, Hilton. The Q's are Quincy. Some we didn't get to doing yet. Hi, we didn't do you. We didn't do you yet. But he's going to be going to Manitoba. She hasn't given me a name for him yet. So, um, actually I forgot to even ask her if she wanted me to name him. Because, um, when you get registered sheep, you can have the name put right on the pedigree if you'd like. So, I'll, I'll give her a, another message and see, uh, if she has any L name in mind for him. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, yes. Are you friendly? This is him anyway. He, he hasn't really been a pet, but... It looks like he, he actually might be approachable. Hi. Well, yeah, I guess which which of our rams isn't approachable, right? <laughs> Hi. Hi, are you going to go to Manitoba? You're very handsome. Y yeah, you're handsome too, Lambert. We all know that. Hi. You guys are very handsome too. Like this guy, I can't register him. And never in a million years would you not know he's a Dor like you'd think he was a Dorset. He has totally all the Dorset traits. Yes, you are very handsome. That one's a purebred Dorset. Actually, those two at the wall are. But we just had to scan you to find out that you weren't. Like I said, uh, we've been breeding them back to back with Dorsets for so many years now that they're pretty well pure Dorsets anyway. I just can't register them because in their genetics they have something else. But yeah, the boys, they're not inside, they're outside, but they're all lying here in the shade or standing here in the shade trying to stay cool so that's smart now the ewes on the other hand we got a whole bunch of them out in the field braving the heat so that's good but we have a cluster here in the shade hi girls hi you guys a little hot and over by the other shed there we have some girls in the shade as well. As soon as it, the sun starts to go down, then everybody's out. And on the girls' side, they're much uh, more well-mannered. Looks like their drinkers are still clean from this morning. But I don't like to risk it when it's hot like this. They need to be hydrated. Yep. All clean in the girl pen. I hear a tractor, so yeah, Arnie's just pulled in. So he must be done baling the hay right now, the dry hay. We'll go back and have a look at that maybe later on this afternoon, this early this evening. See how that all turned out. How's the hay? Dry. Is, isn't it supposed to be dry? Isn't it supposed to be dry? Yes, it we'll try again. 150 bale. Dry, good dry, right there it is. This is a baby bale. Yeah, I'm gonna use this for bedding. This is a little bit of wheat, maybe. 
Oh. Oh, just use for bedding. But I'm thinking most farmers would feed that. Well, especially since you got old hay that probably is worse than that. Off he goes to pick up the hay. It looks like Lynn wasn't working again today, but actually I had to pay bills today. Nasty job. Just pasta tonight, folks. <laughs> go into the dark tonight. So as Arnie goes off to get a few more loads of hay, I'm going to call that a day. If you enjoyed your time at Utopia Farms, please don't forget to comment, press the like button, and for sure come back and join us again tomorrow. So until then, bye for now.